Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all hear what the fuck going on? Hold on. Bitch, love and toxic, but I'm still a better option. Yeah, feel steady. We got my motherfucker in the building. So bad I won't beat that for your ass. You made me mad today. Niggas ain't seen it yet. Don't trust you, dog. I'm sad to say. Told them hoes don't call my phone. Don't care if it's my birthday. But you're probably one enough. I gave you more than free. Whoa. Let's go raise the place. The hand sanitizer running late. You a bad taste. Me and Bo on the lead. So shit to date. When you was clicking on that bullshit. Whoa. I need steak and I need chicken, baby, don't be late It's a tape worm in my pocket, bitch, I need my tape Niggas fake, stern, I'm walking my on, but you gonna say Bitch, wanna talk, the fine news, you should get to know me Stick us in the car, we line dance with the blickies on me Thinking about my uncle, he a fool, he left niggas long And not the glove of five, but this is school Walking to the key before, honey Only bitch, wanna talk, fine news, you should get to know me we lie dance with the Blicky saw me thinking about my uncle, he the fool He left niggas lonely, not to go with five But this is school and we rooted for Tony Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man <laughs> I gotta give my dog a proper intro We got the motherfucking, my motherfucking dog I've been waiting for that song to drop when we was on tour last year, nigga yeah, so far. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> a motherfucking legend in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? We got my dog Fly Anakin in the building. What's happening, baby? What's poppin'? What's happening? We appreciate Black you coming teams. in, yeah, my nigga. No, for real. Jeez, thanks for having me. Y'all don't understand. This is a motherfucking legendary link up. I ain't seen this yeah. nigga since March, maybe of last year type shit. It was, a, it was South Bar. It was South, South Bar. Yeah. When I first I met think. my. Yeah, no, it, it was. Been, it might have been later than that, though. I feel like I might have seen you in, uh, in LA. Was you you was with them for the gumbo? Yep. The gumbo? Yep. St- yep. yep. So yeah. it's yeah. still been over a year, but it's so good to see my nigga. Yeah. He just came to yeah. shut the he just yeah. shut the motherfucking stage down. We yeah. had the motherfucking big Kool-Aid tour. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you did motherfucking know it's your favorite DJ, DJ Black and Mouse. And your boy Lil Mac. And we the keep a four hundred. Well, if you got the three, we got the extra one for you to keep it a four. You dig? <laughs> Appreciate my brother coming and locking in with us, my man. How you feeling, brother? How you doing? I'm good, man. I need to smoke some more. Nigga, me and you both. Uh, I'll be it, happier once I'm higher. I'm good, dog. Everything is everything. I'm, uh, uh, I had a good day today. Niggas ain't sleep, but we in this motherfucker. Don't okay. Matter. Okay. So how the, how the tour been? I know y'all ain't what? Y'all only one this day the there? Second, this the second, second day. day. Yeah. Atlanta was fire. Atlanta was amazing. That's, you know? what I, that's what niggas were just talking about. Atlanta was fire. Atlanta but was you know, stupid. Atlanta, bro, sometimes it be, it's, it's a different energy sometimes. Like, Nigga, you could be rocking your ass off of that motherfucking niggas that stand at you like. <laughs> I be like, damn, nigga, am I not doing enough? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of how it was on my headline joint. Like, I did my first headline in Atlanta, and it was light. But I did that shit with them niggas last night. That shit was, was fire. Big, and everybody was showing love. I'm like, shit, that's I, what's this should have been that's my first up. show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Atlanta, I, I, it just kind of showed me this is a good community in Atlanta. For like, sure. hella people, like, good For people sure. that want to hang out and do Shit. For sure. you, it's a lot of motherfuckers live and shit. It's like a lot that. of dope black creators down in that motherfucker too. Yeah, shout out to the A. Shout out to the A. You know what I'm saying? But when we went down there, we shut that bitch down too. But that was, you know what I'm saying, a minute ago. But yeah. brother, it's so good to have you. Is this your first time in Cincy? I yeah. Was, yeah. Okay. So it's my second you? time in Ohio though. I, I've been to uh, Cleveland. Okay. Oh, so you came to the best city. Fuck yeah, fuck that. Hey, oh, yeah. Hell no, nah, we can, no, we can say we can say that now. He came to the he came to the natty, nigga. He came down south to the natty. I can't say I got more friends in Cincinnati than I do in Cleveland. So, okay, yeah, it's, it's so, confirmed. I'm yeah. bad. <laughs> I'll come me? through though for that. Baggie. You feel me? We it's still it's still love to Cleveland, but when you know when you come into the natty, it's a whole different atmosphere, nigga. Yeah. I feel like every time I ever been to Cleveland, it's just nothing to do. I don't yeah. know if it's just me. Nah, it's a good, it's a nice part in like downtown. You can hype man. it up all you want, my nigga. I mean, <laughs> I ain't saying I had fun, I'm but it's a, saying, yeah. I ain't had no fun when I was up in that motherfucker. I couldn't <laughs> even find no no good ass club to go into. I went into some motherfucking circus shit when I went. I don't know. Anyway, we gonna we gonna skip that, brother. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> I kept it strictly business. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you ain't got no food from here. You ain't trying. What nah, you get? we just got here, bro. We got here like two two hours before the door opened. I mean, oh, damn, you had so some La Roses. Did you have some La Roses? Yeah, pizza? I, had, I did have some of that shit. That shit was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, okay. So, so we gotta we gotta get you some Grippos. I heard about the Grippos. nigga. We need to I get you. That some. nigga live had like a box of them bitches on there. Yeah, and, and I tried them hoes. I think I did try them before. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm, when I see y'all later, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you some Grippos just All for right, you to take right. it on the road, so you can be like. Nigga, the best chips in the world. No, no cap. Say that, say that. No cap. I'm gonna run them hoes. I'm gonna try them out. I fuck with chips, nigga. 
I'm gonna <laughs> judge them bitches real, real honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a big buck about them chips, nigga. So how long you been uh, like on the road and shit? Like just doing the grind of um, being an artist and shit. Um, so that's damn near two different questions for oh, real. Yeah. I gotta give you two answers, please. <laughs> so like, as please. far as on some artistic shit, like. Nigga been making music since I was in fucking eighth grade. And where originally you from? Tell Rich, us people. Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, oh, Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Shout out Richmond. VA in a building. Um, yeah, Richmond, Virginia. I started making music when I was in eighth grade. That was 2008. And I was, what, fucking 13, 14 or some shit. I'm 29 now. And okay. fucking, I, I, as old, far nigga. as hitting the road, yeah, fact. <laughs> that shit hit me on my 29th birthday. I'm like, nigga, I got one year. Yeah, I'm, I'm 28. I'm right behind you, nigga. I'm, yeah, you I'm old too, yeah. nigga. Oh, <laughs> no, look, look, you look, look, the look. oldest in the room, though. You already big, hit big, the 30s. Yeah, yeah, I'm in my 30s. Hey, respect, my nigga. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid of the 30s. But at the same time, though, I need to stand on it and just accept that shit because I'm an OG for real now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nigga can't tell me I ain't you make it to this motherfucker. Exactly. It's a lot of niggas didn't make it to 29. Nah, so a I'm looking at niggas. this shit a little differently, but I also be like, damn, I miss my youth. I do, yeah. but I'm but still a kid on the inside, so that, I don't, it ain't shit. That's what I tell. That's what I tell motherfuckers all the time too. I'm like, bro, like I'm still a kid at at heart. Like, yeah. nigga, I I feel like I had a lot. I had a ball in my twenties. But it's like, man, like I still got that that youth in me. Like, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Niggas gonna be like, nah, you the OG. And I'm like, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, I done did all the shit you trying to do, nigga. Exactly. Ben did that. Exactly. But I, I ain't gonna lie though. As a, me as a young nigga, I just hate a nigga tell me that. Like, nigga, y'all don't know shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, nigga, no, shut the real. fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Let me live my fucking life, nigga. <laughs> to answer the um the second joint though, I'm please. Been, I've been I'm touring. Sorry. I've been touring as long as that nigga live. Been touring. Me and Liv, we on tour for the first time together in Europe. Like yeah, 2021, the- like end of the year, November, some shit like that. Okay. But I've been touring nonstop since then, basically. Like, I probably take a couple weeks, months off type shit, but it's always going out of town for something. So, As well. so let me let me ask you, what would you say was your favorite place that you've done a show? It could be here, out of out of the country. Wait, wait, or you said you caught a, a good vibe from the people. Probably Lisbon, Portugal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Lisbon was the shit. Okay. I, ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. This was like that was the most, like I don't know. I had great shows outside of that, but that one was special because it was a fucking like a, a bad situation in the venue, so I can go to my shit. Now I mean, I'm walking distance away from the um, the, the stage and shit. Like, what? Like, it, it was it was like an Airbnb built into this to the venue and Nigga, shit. Damn. So, after I ain't my never set, heard of no shit like that. I know it was crazy. So after the set, <laughs> <laughs> me and my man, my DJ and shit, we was just like, damn, bro, like I don't even want to leave for real. Cause we had to, we had to, I think we had to leave like five, four or five in the morning to go to the uh, the airport. So we was like, we might as well just kick it. So I'm told him for at sure. the end of the set, I was like, I'm gonna just come back and play a bunch of music and shit. Cause I gotta like I'm telling I'll just play a bunch of unreleased shit. Uh-huh. So I literally just played my whole vault of unreleased music for these people. And they sat there for like four hours and just listened to that shit Nigga, with me that's five And I was on stage just smoking hella weed, not talking about nothing. <laughs> not even on the mic, just literally playing songs and shit. Bro, yeah. I, I love that, bro. Yeah, so, that was that was probably the most like welcome I felt far away from the crib. Like that was the furthest away a nigga had been. Like that's in Spain. Yeah, nigga. I, felt I, like I, I was like, I ain't even touched that nigga. Yeah, that I'm Jamaican, fire. but the you know, the furthest I really been was well, Jamaica's here, like DR. I would say DR has been the furthest I ever been, like in the world type shit. But I'm like, yeah. I love that, bro. That like, yeah. did did a lot of motherfuckers know your shit out there? Like, was they yeah, like, okay? The crowd was crazy. like, it felt like my crowd, like, but it felt like I, it wow, felt like that nigga. crowd could have happened in America, but it was in this random ass place that I never thought I would be. Wow, and that shit, it, it looked like so many different places. Like it had like a paradise kind of vibe to it, but it also felt like it could have, it could, it, it felt like Rome in certain areas. Felt like London in, in in a weird way, like it was just beautiful, bro. Like yeah. beautiful ass place. <laughs> like that shit was like kind of breathtaking for real. And I'm a I'm a hood nigga. Like I don't I ain't seen a lot of shit. So <laughs> nigga, it's like I, nigga, the I last two years I've been seeing I've been seeing a lot of shit. Like life lifetime worth of shit for real. I love that, bro. Cause like I said, when we talking about nigga, when we went on tour, like like I remember sitting in that RV. What did what is we did what five thousand total miles in that motherfucking bus for tour, Damn. nigga. Yeah, yeah. we did like it was like five thousand three hundred and something fucking. <laughs> Whoa, bro, nigga, that's, that's a lot of lot of time to sit down. And that was like my first time, kind of really 
doing that shit, like DJing like that, like going on tour, like shout out to Benji, bro, because he really, he kind of put me in a position to kind of brought in who I am, nigga. Like, I was telling, nigga, I was losing my voice every night. Nigga, I remember the first time I met you, I was like, what's up, man? <laughs> what's happening, bro? was killing that shit every night, though. Like, I remember my girl, like, um, I went and seen this shit in, uh, in New York, I believe. And my girl was at the crib when y'all came down there. She went and seen that shit, and I was like, watch Too Rich. That nigga gonna go crazy. Nigga. Like, I seen it before, so I'm like, you gotta watch Too Rich. Pay attention to Too Rich. Yeah. She was like, all right. And she hit me up after that shit. She was like, that nigga went so crazy when nigga. he moonwalked. I was like, yeah, yeah. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, you know he gonna do the moonwalk, he gonna do the splits. Yeah, that ass. But I'm like, that shit was like an experience to see both of y'all niggas like on point together. Like, yeah. it's not too many DJ rapper combinations that's Appreciate actually gonna you, be bro. on detail, like really Appreciate know the that. words and you on that motherfucker giving the nigga ad lib shit like that. that. A bro. lot of times niggas just stand niggas there, just stand push there, that button. Push that and don't do shit, nigga. I know, like I always yeah. say, when you come see me, nigga, I'm gonna make you feel like you. I'm gonna make you feel it in your veins, nigga. I feel you it. gonna go home and be like, "Who the Respect. fuck? Why the fuck was that nigga so turned? <laughs> you know that nigga ain't got no voice. Like, what the fuck wrong with that, that black nigga? But look, nah, but for real, bro, I appreciate that though. That's yeah, love, bro. I see shit for what it is, bro. I'm like, this is a good fucking show. Like, I would like to see that shit on the road all the time. I appreciate niggas that, bro. Gonna pay to see that for like as long as niggas can do that motherfucking moonwalk and that split. <laughs> they gonna pay to be there, mm-hmm. nigga. That does. If that's if he, <laughs> if he might be, he probably could pull it off without that motherfucker. But if he can do that shit every time, hey, the bag gonna it's nothing I gonna stop. I, I ain't seen you. Benji Benji and did every fucking shit. <laughs> that, that, nigga, that nigga was like, man, that, that shit ain't even that good for real, hey. dog. I was like, nigga, that moonwalk crazy. Was hey, like, after really the tour, we it. told that boy he need a hip replacement. <laughs> yeah, nigga need a hip replacement. Nigga need to start stretching some more and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, right. I got up to her. I was sore as fuck for like a month. I'm like, what the fuck going on, That's nigga? Oh, shit. That's what I see for. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But look, okay, for my dog get out of here, we appreciate you and your time, my brother. Look, he a man of motherfucking business, motherfucking yeah. action. You did what I'm saying? Appreciate Fly you coming Anakin, through, I man. I appreciate you, my we brother. Do that, my nigga. For Thank sure, you. for sure. Thank you, brother. Oh, no, Be sorry. easy. Oh, yes, sir. I'll-